In this video, we want to talk about price elasticity and total revenue. Recall that total revenue is equal to price times quantity, or we abbreviate TR equal P times Q. Let's take a look at our gas example. We looked at two prices, $3 and $6 a gallon. At $3 a gallon, the demand was um, the de demand curve is suggesting that the quantity demanded would be five gallons, or three dollars times five, or fifteen dollars would be our total revenue. If we uh, move the price up to six dollars, quantity would demanded would be four units, so we would actually have six dollars times four, or twenty-four dollars in total revenue. We would lose this area here by increasing the price but we would be gaining this area. You'll note here that the gain is larger than the loss area. Our net gain in this uh, case would be $9. For products or services that have any um, elasticity coefficient of less than one, they're considered inelastic. And uh, for uh, inelastic products, when we raise prices, that will actually increase our total revenue. Let's take a look at ice cream cones. Um, at a $3 price and a $4 price, at a $3 price, we're going to sell five gallons of ice cream. Our total revenue would be $3 times five or $15. Now, if we raise the price here to $4, uh, our new total revenue would be three, uh, $4 times three units or, or $12. We would be losing this area here in gaining that area there. Note that the gain area is smaller than the uh, lost area. We would end up with a net gain of minus $3 or a net loss. So if uh, we have a product the, uh, that has an elasticity factor of greater than one, raising prices will actually decrease total revenue.